Real estate investment trusts, or REITs, are publicly traded securities that represent an indirect ownership in real estate. These are investment companies that own and manage real estate, and they represent a very easy way to um, basically get a portfolio that is getting exposure to real estate. They're very liquid. You can buy and sell them just like stocks. The transaction costs are very low. They essentially have to pay out a large amount of their net income. So they're very attractive to those who are trying to seek um, current income. Let us talk about how you can identify undervalued real estate investment trusts. And you can do this through an equity screen. I would like to show you how to do this within Capital IQ. So let me go to a web browser. I'm going to click on screening within Capital IQ and I'm going to do an equity screen. Let me show you a couple of easy criteria to add that will allow you to focus in on REITs. First, what I like to do is just focus on those securities that are uh, you know, very liquid. And I think it's a good idea to just focus on those that are listed on all US exchanges. And what you can also do is focus in on the industry classification. So I'm going to focus on this industry classification and I'm going to type in equity REITs. You can see equity real estate investment trusts pops up right there. I'll add it to the screen. This reduces it down tremendously. It goes from over 20,000 firms to 424. Now, how do you find those REITs that are paying out high dividends? Well, I'm going to type in dividend yield. And what we can do is now focus on those securities that are paying, say, a dividend yield greater than 7%. I'm going to add that to the screen. And we'll choose the latest dividend yield. This is going to bring down the number of firms to 116 from 424. Now, we can also focus on those that have the potential to increase the dividend yield. I mean, we've already found those that have a high dividend yield. In other words, the dividend relative to the current market price is above 7%. But we can look at the funds from operation, which represents a pool of money from which the uh, investment company can pay out dividends. And we can focus on those that have a particular FFO ratio. So let us, there we go. That's what I was looking for. So what we can do is click on FFO payout ratio, and we can actually get a definition associated with this, which was what I was trying to do. And let me focus in on that. The FFO payout ratio as a percent is a supplemental line item on the real estate template that represents a company's payout ratio based on funds from operation. And it is essentially the dividends divided by the FFO. So if we're looking for dividend growth, we might want to have, um, have a, identify a list of REITs that have low dividends relative to FFO because that pool of money in the FFO represents the ability to increase the dividends in the future. So maybe we'll put this at, uh, say, 80%. Let's have it less than 80%. And let's add this. Let's see, now we're down to 94 firms. So let's just, um, well, before we actually take a look at them, let me show you some other things that you could add in. It's got net operating income, so you could come up with criteria based on NOI. And one thing that you can do is have uh, companies that have high operating NOI relative to their average growth properties. Obviously, this is um, a positive thing, the higher the percentage, so you could add that into the screen as well. But I'm not going to do that. I'm going to just view the results of this. And we can pick one and verify that it's actually showing us what we're looking for. 
So let me take a look at park hotels and resorts. I don't know anything about this one. It's got a diverse portfolio of market leading hotels and resorts. Sounds good. A dividend yield of 7.1%. So it's met that criterion. I'm going to go to the income statement. And we'll see how they've been doing. They have been paying out a dividend per share of $1.84, even though they've got basic EPS of $2.31. And this dividend represents 56.7% of EPS and 47.2% of FFO. So they have that potential to actually increase it in the future. Now, whether this is a great investment or not, I don't know. We would have to delve in further, but um, just on the surface, um, it, it looks pretty attractive. So I encourage you to go out and play around with the screens, but you've got a number of things that are specific to REITs that you can include as criterion in your screen to identify undervalued REITs.